Welcome back team, I'm Julianne and today we're doing full body 35 minute restorative yoga practice. We work so hard entire week so it's time for us to restore and recover. If you're new to my channel guys, welcome and make sure to subscribe, hit that bell button so you stay on top on your workouts and never miss it. Guys, I will guide you through all the modifications even if you are a beginner and let's start this workout together. All right, guys, so let's begin today in our child pose. And let's make sure that we set good loving intentions first before we will start this practice. So let's bring our forehead all the way on the ground and just close your eyes, guys. And take a good quality inhalation, good quality exhalation. Let all the worries go. It's time to rest, to recover, and to restore for us to set that body for healing. And take a good deep breath, look forward, bring your fingertips on the floor and press your elbows closer towards the ground. Take a breath and on exhalation, slowly draw your body up to the neutral line, not to the cobra or up dog head and all the way back. To your child pose, let's do it a couple more times. Inhalation, exhalation through that nose, maybe a little bit deeper this time. And take it back, guys. One more time. And this time, if it feels right, go ahead and express yourself further. You can definitely go on your forearms or just set those hands slightly farther towards the front of your mat and take it back exhalation good job take it back up again in through the nose out through the nose cobra sphinx elbows on the floor or up dog with me gentle rotations look behind one shoulder then look behind another shoulder very good go ahead and shift your body guys to the tabletop position and round that spine Relax your neck with me. We're gonna go for the few. In through the nose, out through that nose. Couple more, guys. Do not hurry up. Listen to your press rhythm. You don't have to fit those movements into the press, but just let your body move gracefully. And one more. Let's go ahead, guys, today and take the right leg up all the way. Draw that knee to and chest or belly. One more time. Reach up. Draw that knee to and chest or belly. And one more, guys. Reach up and open and set that foot on the side. Let's slowly just bring the hands up front. Put, guys, your block underneath if you have to and bring the chest closer to the floor towards your mat it doesn't have to go all the way through that and let me show you you can grab your blocks and put the block underneath your chest it's going to make it much easier you can also back up on those knees guys if you have to so just find the place where your body can relax and we're going to hold it for the extra Two, three breathing cycles. Very good. Come on back up, guys, with me. And we're going to take this left hand on the line with the left knee and just open it up all the way. Express through the chest, through the rib cage, through the heart. See if you can take that hand behind your back. You don't have to, but see how it feels. Inhalation exhalation very nice go ahead and bring that hand back we're gonna take this leg back up and over guys back up and over today so just like we do our cow face pose or eagle legs depend how far you can get and let's continue to move up and down in a tabletop through this leg position our spine is experiencing the different type of straightening, different type 
type tangents and relaxations. So continue to move, make sure again it feels right. Perfect. One more time. And let's do a few movements up and down. You don't have to extend your legs all the way up to downward facing dog, but see how it feels. Just one and gentle flow back on the floor. And another one. And gentle guys, flow back to a couple more. Two, three more. Depend how fast or how slow you're moving. And one more last time. Lengthen in a little bit more through that back. Very nice. Take your knees back on the floor. Beginners, definitely undo those legs. And we're gonna go for this extended puppy pose. Or if you feel comfortable here, go ahead and bring the teeth, guys, on the floor, just like we did with that extended leg on the side. And give it a breath or two. Very nice. And let's slowly return back all the way, undo those legs, and we will repeat this flow from the other side to wake up the back and the hips. So let's take our left leg up and open and draw the knee to twist our belly. Leg up and open and knee to twist our belly. One more time, leg up and open, express through the heart. Knee to twist our belly and hover it over on the side whenever you're ready. So find your position when that knee directly underneath your hip. And again, use your blocks, guys. If you need to put your blocks on the floor, do it. We're going to put our right ear, guys, on the floor and just be where you can be. If you can be up here, maybe you're going to put the hat on the side. Put your chest, guys, on the floor, just whatever makes that body feel right, right? And just a breath or two. In through that nose, out through that nose. Let the tension go from the hips, from the shoulders, from the chest. We had a busy week, life is busy. It's always gonna stay busy. That's our responsibility to learn how to relax and to restore. Let's take the right hand on the floor and open up, guys, towards the left all the way. So hold it for the breath or two and then see if you can put your arm behind your back. You don't have to do that, but try again how it feels a little bit deeper. Opening through the back. And let's slowly return this back. We're gonna take this leg and hover it over to that cow face pose or gamukhasana. Raise elbow shoulders stacked one on top of another. And let's give that body a few more extra up and down movements. Different position of the legs will procure different straightening for the back. And just guys up and down, a couple more times. And then we're gonna go for the flow. So tuck your toes, take your knees to extension. Again, it doesn't have to be the full downward facing dog with this crisscross leggy position. Just do what you can, right? And let's do a few more all the way. All your downward facing dog, guys, shift. Continue to shift the weight away from the shoulders. And express through the chest and back, lengthwise and wide, widthwise, all the way. Let's do one more. It feels so good. All the way. Drop the head, relax the neck. Just hold it for the breath or two, guys. Good job. Now, beginners, undo those legs. If that doesn't feel right for you to dive down with your chest on the floor in that leg position, just undo them. And go ahead and just place your head at the place where that feels comfortable or chest on the floor or block or again undo those legs and just do the regular puppy pose. Stay with me for the few guys extra breathing cycles. Close your eyes and again, this is our responsibility to learn how to rest, relax and restore. Nobody can give it to us. Good. 
exhale, let's slowly undo. Come on back up, undo guys those legs. Take your knees back and let's go ahead and tuck the toes in, bring ourselves back <clears throat> to the regular. Now we're facing dog, drop the head, relax your neck, shoulder blades apart, both hands guys, shoulders width apart, feet, hips width apart. Let's do a few lifts today, just shift the weight over the shoulders, then rock yourself back and again towards the shoulders and then rock yourself back and back guys all the way rock it back let's start to bend the knees right and left rub the head completely you're gonna feel it in your inner thighs in your hamstrings your quads just don't hurry up just make it feel good all the way and then let's slowly bring our knees back on the floor take your right leg up and guys step all the way forward through we are in our first lunge low lunge front knee above the front ankle let's reach all the way up embrace express with the heart all the way guys take your hands behind your back or take them for the very very beginners on the blocks and just hold it up here totally fine also guys use your knee pads underneath those knees i'm gonna take my hands behind and express even farther back and then let's together dive down all the way humble position one of the arms in a low bind if your head almost there and it feels fine but there is a little gap just put the block underneath that's gonna help it very very much Make sure that the front knee is somewhere close to your front ankle and give it a breath or two. Let all the tension go. Use your tools. Come on back up and take your block of the way. Take your knees back. Let's give it a few hip circles. Just right and left, left and right. Do one direction, then stop and go to the other direction. That's it. Just to release tension if it's built some. Take your leg up and step forward, guys, to that low lunge. Front knee, hip up, the front ankle. Give it a good lengthening. Use the blocks, guys, on the floor. Blocks and pads underneath those knees will make a huge difference. I will show you. Sometimes, some days my knees are more sensitive than the other days and I use them. So please use your blocks up here if you're a very beginner or you just have, have some temporarily injuries in the hips when you can't hold the whole upper body weight here. So let's reach up again one more time and bring the hands behind. Put the block underneath the forehead if you have to and then the rest guys you don't have to put the block but it makes a world difference so let's start to breathe into the hip flexor lower back the pain shouldn't go away should go away discomfort should go away if it just growing and becoming harder guys for you to stay you think please about changing a little bit modifying your asana come on back up Take it slowly back, undo your blocks if you have them. That knee pad is, feels awesome. All right, guys, look up and down. Couple more times. Another set of the hip circles just to relieve any tension builds up during that low lunge hold. And let's come back to the center. Tuck your toes, guys. Downward facing dog all the way drop the head relax your neck enjoy this both hands are grounded downward facing dog is such a great asana to recover restore and stretch the back and stretch the body in general take your right leg up guys look underneath the right and gently step forward now if this runner lunge is not available for you yet 
A, you can use a block. B, you can put your knee on the floor. So see how it goes. Left hand and right foot on one line. And let's open it up all the way to the soft rotation towards the right leg. Breathe, guys. Use modifications. Put the knee on the floor. There is nothing wrong if you're going to put your knees on the floor. And slowly take it back to your downward facing dog. Do those transitions, guys, on your knees if you have to. And let's take the left. And we do a little preparation towards the nectar of the moon in that runner lunge. So put that knee on the ground, guys, if you have to. Or open up all the way. Use a block underneath the right hand. Big soft rotation through the hip flexor. Lower back and only an arm. Good job. Take a breath. Don't hold your breath, guys. And take it all the way back. Bend your knees a couple times here and there. That's good. Let's go ahead and take the right leg up one more time. Create a space in the hips. Step forward. And beginners, please put your knee on the floor like this, intermediate and advanced. Put your back foot outward, outside. And we continue for soft rotation a little bit deeper. So this left shoulder comes closer to your right knee. It's very noticeable up here in the waistline and hips. So if that doesn't feel right, you don't have to do it. You can also put your hand on the hip or continue to open up. Just an extra breath or two. Take it back all the way. Let's rest and recover here. You did great. Child pose. In through the nose, out through that nose. Come back with me to your downward facing dog. All the way, drop the head. Relax your neck. Good job. Take your left leg up. Find the space in the hips. Step forward, guys. Now put your knee on the floor if you have to. Or we're gonna take that right foot on the outer, on the, on the outer blade of our feet and stay up here, have your knee on the floor again. We're all different, we're all ready for different things. And just a gentle rotation. Feel free to put that hand, guys, on the hips and continue, rotate through the pelvic floor and all the way through the lower back. Good job. Reach the arm up if you want. Be careful on your wrist and ankles. And on exhalation, Release the asana in child pose this time. Let's do this child pose with knees wide. Dive a little bit deeper. And just close your eyes. And again, think about restored, restoring, relaxing. Look inside. Try to be present. If your day was busy and hectic, just slow down that inner chatter. Mind is always busy, guys. Always busy. All right, let's come back and we're going to take and extend our knees one more time to the downward facing dog feet, hips width apart, drop the head, long extended neck, shoulder blades apart, take your right leg up all the way and step forward. We will work a little bit on our quadricep today and more on the hips. We worked all week so hard with our hit classes, with all our strength training. So use the straps, guys. If you can't catch up and use your knee, pads underneath your knees, use that strap and catch it up like this. Now, you definitely will be able to catch the foot with the strap, but if you don't need it, just use your hand. What I want you to do, don't stay here into the 90 degree singles, I want you to lean substantially forward towards the front of your mat. We're doing it because we're targeting the back legs, that quadricep, the muscle running from the top towards your knee all the way. We did so much hops through the week, squats, runs, everything possible to imagine. So we need to give a good quality stretch to our quadricep 
in the restore the lower body. Flexibility is so important. So let the blood flow through the muscle. That doesn't feel really good. I can tell you that. But lean even deeper. Lean even deeper forward. Good work. Take it all the way back. Let it go. You didn't feel it. You didn't lean forward enough. So left knee underneath the left hip. Half split, half Hanumanasana prep. We're not going to do the split today. We're just going to go for the half variation. I want to show you that you can have your blocks one or two up here, just like this. And try not to hover the shoulders. Go forward, lean forward through the hip flexors, through the hinge motion. And the blocks would be super, super useful here. Keep on breathing, guys. In through the nose. Out through the nose. A little bit deeper down. Use your knee pads. And let's add the little flow here. All the way to the front. Lean forward. All the way back. Exhalation. Expand and extend. All the way front. And all the way back. That's it. Let's do one more. All the way front. And hold the way back. Good work. And take your left hand and open up. Hold the right on the hips if you have to, or open it. Good job. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Spaciousness in the shoulders. Let's slowly take that knee back on the floor. We're going to take, guys, our left elbow. Put it in the center if elbow not available you're just going to do it on the forearm but if you can take the left and set your head on the left hand and maybe even take your right behind and give it a soft rotation in the tabletop position with the hands behind continue to expand through the elbows at the little rotation and let's softly Return back, good work. Downward facing dog, guys, all the way. Very nice. Let's take and find the space on our left. And step forward. Step forward. So from here, let's kick the leg back, use your strap, use the knee pad, and see if you can catch up on that ankle. I don't want you to stay up here because that makes absolutely no sense for what we're doing. You're working on the back leg behind on the quadriceps. So once you grab your foot, strap or no strap, continue to lean forward. So we're leaning forward and I think I'm going to put the pad for this one. And again, catch up on the ankle and continue to lean forward. If you don't feel this quadricep, you are not forward enough. And just a few extra breathing cycles. Keep on breathing. It doesn't feel always good, but we have to give that muscle a good blood flow, guys. And let it go. Switch weight, guys, towards the right. All the way right above the right and fold forward. You probably can feel the difference between right and left. And breathe, guys. Hinge through the hips. Use the blocks. Let's fold forward again. Go over the toe lunge. And back. Good job. Let's do one more time. Forward. And back. Very nice. All the way. So stay up here or take the right on the floor or on the block, reach up. You can have this hand on the hips if you have to. Mm -hmm. And then gently release. Come on out. Come up here with me. Back on the kneeling position. What we did on the other side, so see if you can put the side of your head Elbow in between, hips above the knees, and just rest that head. And if you have to support yourself with other side, 
With other hand, that's totally fine. Keep on breathing, guys. Don't drop the belly. And if you can take the other hand above and continue to soft and supported rotation, elbows out, good for your neck. Support, guys, again, if you have to. And all the way, take it back to the center team. So let's go ahead and find our last downward facing dog for today. Lengthening, come on the tippy toes. Drop the head, press your hands into the floor and slowly bring those knees on the ground. Bring your ankles together and switch your position. We're gonna spend about a minute in the seated forward fold. So let's take our glutes out, reach all the way up and fold forward. Doesn't have to be super low. You can put your blocks on the side, prop yourself. You can see it up and tall up here or hinge gently through the hips. Give your body a little bit time, guys. Give that body a little bit time. Don't push it right into the final position. The final asana is not as matter as the process, how you get there. Reach in, fold, exhalation, and maybe another time. Reach in, fold, and just calm down. That body, that mind. Keep on breathing. Keep into the, keep breathing into the moment, into the now. Life is busy again, but it's always will remain busy. Just a few more extra breathing cycles. Slow down the heartbeat and come on back up to the center. We're gonna work with that one leg a little bit before we're gonna go for the cow face pose. Let's reach and open it a little bit deeper. Try to sit up and tall, not stiff spine, but tall and extended. Shoulders, guys, away from the ears and just continue to breathe and lift that leg on exhalation. That's it. Let's slowly put it across and you might stop right here. You might want to go up here or you might go all the way when the one knee above the other knee. The farther your feet away from the base, more challenging it is. So just find a position where you can sit. And today we're gonna work with eagle arms. So your right leg is on top. You're gonna take your left arm and put the right inside. So right outside, left inside. Try not to hold it up here. Bring your elbows higher and shoulders lower. Keep on breathing, close your eyes, guys. Connect with self. Again, days are busy, life is busy, life is happening, things happening. We meet new people, but the health starts from inside. We have to start to feed ourselves, loving, nurturing affirmations, give yourself a time to restore, recover, to rest well. Let's go ahead and undo the arms and legs. We will do the same on the other side. We will first work a little bit with that leg before we dive in into the cow face pose with eagle arms, Garudasana arms. Reach that leg up and then exhalation. Watch that back, guys. Watch your alignment. Breathe. And just one more time. Feels so good. And let's bring it over. Maybe you just sit in somewhere up here, or maybe you get in it all the way through. Just like it. And again, if you're very beginner, you can just hold your hands where you can, or take your right. Left is inside because your left leg is on top, so we do the opposite arms. If you can bind like this, however you can today, but try to take your Elbows a little bit higher, shoulders lower, free your back, close your eyes, guys. 
Don't worry about anything, just let your body rest. Set the intentions inside to listen to your breath, to yourself. Mind is busy, gonna feed you a lot of good and not good stuff, but sometimes we just have to listen to the quietness within. And on another exhalation, undo those arms, guys. Go ahead and extend those legs and slowly come on down with me. Take your arms all the way behind. Give your body a good straight. Let's take our both legs up towards the ceiling and take your right above the left eagle legs. We just did an eagle arms. If that is not possible, don't worry about it. You're just going to take your legs as is without those eagle bind to the side. Just make sure it's comfortable. So your right leg, guys, above your left and you bring in the legs to the right. Your right leg above the left, you bring in the legs to the right. This is a very nice, a little bit intense, so you can lose your legs lower lower back straight but it's supported it's on the floor so that's very good for us <clears throat> and let's gently undo the legs go for the little happy baby bend your knees press right on top doesn't have to be low just enjoy it and take your left right now above the right doesn't have to be as perfect right doesn't have to be any way you can do, just do what you can. And then bring those knees on the left and face over the right. So your left leg is on top on the right and you dive in your knees on the left. Close your eyes. It's supported, you are on the floor, very healthy. Just manage the dabs, put the blocks underneath the knees maybe. Breathe and just close your eyes and just be present on your mat, in your room. Feel the air surrounding your body. Maybe see, maybe fan, right? Maybe micro sounds. And go ahead and draw those knees towards the chin, chest or belly. Give them a good hug. And undo those knees. Put your feet, guys, on the floor. Take your arms on the side and just slowly lift your hips. Let's give it back a nice straight. Press your feet into the floor. No weight on your neck. Everything on the shoulders right now. In the arms. Take it all the way back to the ground. And put your both feet into the bound angle or Baddha Konasana. It could, it's not, could, could be not really comfortable through a, a, in a couple minutes. So you don't have to keep it that way. You can always release and put your legs however it's comfortable for your body. So look straight up and then close your eyes. Reach those arms all the way behind and connect through the elbows if you can. You can also try to stack underneath your thighs, your blocks, guys. That could make it more comfortable. But in general, if you will get some discomfort holding it that way, just undo those legs. So let's close our eyes. Make sure that your back is comfortable. Put extra blanket underneath the back if you have to. And again, inhalation. Expand that belly, guys. In an exhalation, let the air go from abdominal cavity. Expand that belly gently and fully in an exhalation. Let the air go. Let's do one more, the deep breath. In and on exhalation, relax any leftover tension in the hips, in the legs, in the feet, in the shoulders. Let everything go. Life is so short to stress too much. Of course, it's going to be a stressful moment, but that's all about how we take it, how we let it go. We let go what we can't control. Let's slowly, gently help yourself with the arms. 
bring those knees together. And guys, take your time through the side or straight forward, whatever is available for that body. Just um, bring your feet up front of the body the way it feels good. And let's reach up all the way above the head. Full extended back and just take the arm on the side, give it a final feel good straight all the way up and over the head and do it from the other side up and over the head. Feel good straight. Bring arms all the way up. Close your eyes guys and draw your both hands up front of your heart as a true sign of the gratitude for everything we have. We grow, we expand through the gratitude, through love, through compassion. So let's set a commitment to focus on happiness, on love, on healing, on giving back to others. Smile with your heart and flow, guys, through the rest of this precious day with unshakable love and peace inside. Namaste. Great work, everybody. I'm just so proud of you, as always, on being working out with me every single day. So I want to hear everything about this practice and about your week and how much stronger you get down there in the comments. And if that was your first workout with us, welcome, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you never miss your daily workouts. Team, rest well, recover well, and I will see you tomorrow.